Hello, I'm Mr. McNeil, and this is Vocabulary Breakdown Kinematics, Part 2. During the course of these videos, we are talking about various vocabulary words that we are used to describe kinematics, which is the study of motion. Today's group is specifically talking about motion. The first word we're going to be talking about is speed. Speed is how much distance is covered in a given amount of time. And most of us are familiar with the concept of speed. If I were to tell you that I was traveling at 50 miles per hour down the freeway, you would know how approximately how fast I was going or even the fast, fact that I'm moving. I know that in one hour, I will be traveling 50 miles away. If I were to travel twice as fast, it would be, well, I could express that one of two ways. 100 miles per hour, which most of us would be comfortable using. But the other way I could describe it as 50 miles per hour in 30 minutes. Both of them are talking about the exact same speed, and that is simply how much distance an object is traveling in a given amount of time. Well, the next term is a little bit different, though it may appear to be the same. Velocity. Now, velocity tends to be a more scientific term. And its definition is very similar to, the, to that one of speed, how much an object displaces in a given amount of time. What this means, if you remember, displacement is talking about the initial and the final position. So velocity is simply asking you, in, partly, how far it, it, it's away from its original position and in what direction and how much time it took to get there. So if I were to tell you that I was starting at city A and I traveled to city B, and it took me about three hours to get there, and the distance in between them was 10 miles, which seems absolutely ridiculous, I can tell you that the magnitude of my velocity, the value of my velocity, would be that 10 divided by three hours. I would also have to be able to tell you what direction that and I am just going to make a simple kind of hand wavy suggestion. That one looks like it's going to be east and it's going to be north. So let's say it's northeast. So if we were talking about that situation, we would say that it is traveling that 10 miles in three hours to the northeast. That is velocity. Now, it seems the same, but the difference is the direction. I am concerned with only, I'm concerned with the direction in which the object is traveling. And I'm also only concerned about the initial and final position. So it seems very similar to distance, but it isn't quite. And we can move on to the next to talk about that a little bit more. How are they the same? Well, both of them are rates. And, and specifically, they're the rates in which an object is kind of traveling. In the first case of speed, it is literally the amount of distance that an object travels in a given amount of time. It doesn't tell me where it goes. It doesn't tell me how it's doing that. It's, I could literally be driving in a loop-to-loop -loop and returning to its original position, and I still am experiencing the speed. I could be going around a curve and still be experiencing the speed. And as a matter of fact, I could make that curve with a constant speed meaning that my speedometer never changes. It stays, let's say, at 30 miles per hour. Velocity is much the same. It is a rate in which you're talking about the rate in which an object is moving. Okay, It is talking about if I were to travel at 30 miles per hour, that I would travel 30 miles in one hour. But unlike speed, it would add things like the direction in which I travel. And unlike speed, it only cares about the, the starting position and the final position. So kind of to reiterate that in the last section, how are they, they different? Well, they are both rates. They are tell, both talking about motion. The difference is speed is talking about distance divided by time. And it is literally what you would see on your speedometer. Where velocity is talking about how long did it take you to get from one point to another and in which direction would you travel to get to that point in that given amount of time? It might seem a little odd thinking about velocity that way, because here's my two points. I could, in fact, travel this way and travel that way. 
Well, my velocity would be represented by the distance here and the time it takes to get from that point to this point. So two separate ideas, kind of describing the same thing, but both carrying information that the other one doesn't. I hope that I hope you found this helpful. Um, speed and velocity are two things that people get often confused. And interestingly enough, a general definition when we talk about velocity is simply speed with direction. It's not quite right. Um, it is, it, it's okay when we talk about something like instantaneous. But if you're talking about average velocity, that's definitely not right. Okay. So like I said, I hope, I hope this helps you understand the concept between the two. If you have more questions about the difference between speed and velocity, please let me know. Um, I'd be happy to talk about this more in detail later.